Most people in America are familiar with women's rights. Most people in America are fami familiar with the historic feminist movement. Most people are familiar in America with the women's suffrage. And most people in America know that women did a lot for us during the war when our men and our boys were overseas fighting for American rights. Here's the problem we have today, that people in America don't regard the human soldier. He, people in America don't regard people like me. People in America don't care if a businessman has fallen from a tree. Now, I can make these stupid little rhymes to make up some time, but I can also tell you that you've got employees that are screwing your brand. And American culture and American corporations should care. And when they don't care, it's when their companies get themselves into further lawsuits, class action lawsuits for the abuse, not of their employees, but for the way that their employees abuse people like me and you. And when I say these things, you don't want to believe it because you don't want to tolerate and you don't want to deal with it. But your HR director can be called till we're blue in the face, but you know what? You'll still go run around doing the same shit all over the place. You'll still have employees that will not do things right. You'll still end up with attrition problems and retention problems. And you don't care that I know those marvelous terms. But how many of your people in America and how many of people of a, a man coming out of manufacturing and environment actually have an HR handbook from the state? And the reality is that I had to do that, and I wanted to do that so that I could compete, not all, so I could tolerate an HR director for shitting all over my life. But in life, we have to talk about things. And in America, we have to be willing to discuss things. And in the world, we have rights. So when you thought you'd allow your employees to keep hacking my computer and hacking my network, no matter who you are and what you do for a living, you just screwed America.